Hello and welcome to the big picture. The relations between India and Pakistan took a new turn with the arrival of a joint investigative team from Pakistan to probe the Patan Court air base attack which took place in January. The arrival of the team and its presence in Patan Court has assumed controversial proportions as the opposition parties have attacked the government for allowing it. However, this extraordinary development, the first of its kind in many years, has opened up new possibilities. The Indian government's decision to allow such a team, apparently consisting of ISI as well as military intelligence officials, however, has surprised many. Why has this been done? What is, the, what is expected of this visit and how will it help the investigations on the Indian side regarding the attack? The larger issue is whether such visits will become reciprocal and will lead to new diplomatic breakthroughs or is this some kind of a blunder as some feel it is? We will discuss all this today with Vivek Kadjo, former ambassador, A.S. Dulat, former raw chief and Professor S.D. Muni, South Asian analyst and a former professor at the JNU. Welcome to all of you. Uh, Mr. Kadjo, what, what do you think is the strategy behind this move? Well, if you recollect, uh, it was announced uh, soon after the Pathan Court attack that India uh, would allow a special, what was then being called a special investigating investigation team to visit uh, and that the modalities would be decided in advance. Uh, this is clearly a consequence of that uh, decision to allow the team. I would imagine that if uh, a serious investigation is to take place, then naturally uh, a police team or a team of investigators uh, needs to visit the crime scene. Uh, it needs to have discussions uh, with the security and police authorities who have carried out an investigation at a place where the conspiracy has been enacted, uh, if they want to take action against the conspirators in another jurisdiction. Uh, all that is fine. The question is, are the Pakistanis serious? Or is this merely going through the motions? The, on that, I think the jury is out, as far as I'm concerned. On that, there's no certainty. And I'm a little dismayed today at reading reports in the Pakistan media, which are a repetition of old complaints, complaints of non-cooperation from the Indian side. We will come to that, sir. We'll come to that. Mr. Dulat, mm -hmm. what is expected out of this investigation? <clears throat> no, I, I think this is, uh, like you said, this is an absolutely new development, new beginning. It I has think. not happened before. No, it's not happened before. It shows a lot of... Uh, maturity and positivity in the relationship. And I think it's a, it's a fallout of the meeting between the NSAs and the Warren Secretaries in Bangkok in September. And since then, uh, we've seen uh, continuously positive developments taking place. We had this. Uh, we, uh, yes. Where uh, the NSA, the Pakistan NSAs, NSA. Uh, Pakistani NSA shared intelligence. Yes. On the basis of which we claim to have arrested or, or uh, neutralized uh, three terrorists in, in Gujarat. So these are good, good developments. What comes out of the, the investigation, I, I think, is secondary. But what is happening, uh, I think, uh, augurs well for the future. And I don't think uh, the opposition should really exploit this matter or even bring it up. Because on security, I feel there needs to be a national consensus uh, rather than bickering, you know. But you, why do you think, you know, the, the, the opposition parties are very, uh, are very doubtful about, about the outcome of this? They, they are saying that, you know... Yeah, first... whenever somebody is in opposition, they are always doubtful. You know, I, I think the Congress forgets that Dr. Manmohan Singh was very keen to go to Pakistan, that he tried his damnedest to improve relations with Pakistan, that Rajiv Gandhi had gone to Pakistan, and his relationship, uh, the chemistry between him and Benazir Bhutto was extremely positive and good, and that led to certain positive developments in the Punjab at that point of time. So I, I think uh, political parties should not suffer from amnesia, and uh, they should... Uh, I, I think on these things, when something good is happening, everybody should be on the same page. So you think that you know this is a positive development? Absolutely. And which needs to be encouraged, and, and you, you also expect same kind of reciprocity from the other side? Well, as I say, they already have. I mean, you know, we've been talking for so many years about cooperation between intelligence agencies. 
Now, if NSAs are cooperating, and if this team has come, the very fact that this team has come shows that they are inclined to cooperate. How serious the investigation is, time will tell. As Ambassador Kaju says, the jury is always out on India Pakistan. <laughs> okay. So, yes, Mr. Kaju. No, no, I am, uh, forgive me for saying this, but I am a li little surprised when Mr. Dullat says that the end result is secondary. I think the end result is the primary thing. The, is not, see, I am not concerned one, with one the process, I am concerned with the outcome. The process may be very good. The NSAs have met good. But what is the outcome? Pathan Court was an outcome. What, is, what will be the outcome of this? Will the terrorists, the perpetrator, the, uh, the uh, conspirators be brought to book? I think our focus the, for has that, to for be that on we that. Need, for that, we need to wait. That's right. Yes, Mr. Dillon. Yes, yes. I, I agree with him that, you know, we would like the uh, perpetrators to be brought to book. But what I'm looking at is, is the slightly bigger picture, the India-Pakistan relationship. And I think we seem to be moving forward. We were hoping that the two prime ministers would meet in, in Washington. But now Nawaz Sharif has been held back because of developments in Pakistan, which uh, I suppose are beyond uh, anything that he can do. In fact, his own position seems to be a little wobbly right. with what is happening in Islamabad. And I think we need to wish him well because it's important that he continues <coughs> Because again, the chemistry between him and Modi ji is, is, is good, it's positive. Right. Well, I'll, I'll follow the line given by both the colleagues. Number one, it's a good confidence building measure. Uh, and uh, if the exchanges continue, well, they get to know each other and probably they proceed further. But the basic question is, what is it, it's substantial or a new evidence which the Pakistani side thinks that they cannot do without visiting Pathan Court, which I don't understand. Because DNA has been given to them, telephone numbers have been given to them, whatever uh, uh, evidence was collected at the place of the crime has been ex given to them. Now, if they trust this evidence, and they said they had traced one of the telephones to the uh, Jesha Mohammed headquarters or whatever else it is. Now, what is it which they will discover here, which is otherwise not available through the NIA? I don't understand that. Therefore, I think partly it could be to delay the process. Partly it could be to show off that we are having greater confidence. We are meeting with each other. Look, we are cooperating with each other, including uh, the evidence of the NSA given on uh, 10 people, uh, 3 of, it is largely atmospherics. So far as substance is concerned, I would like to understand, I am not an uh, investigation man, but I would like to understand what precise, what substantially something which is missing on the Pakistani side, they would be able to cover by visiting the place. I don't know this. No, but don't you think that the government of India, when, when it allowed this team to come here, must have had some idea why they are allowing such a team to come here, which is an extraordinary development, as Mr. Dulat says, it's never happened before. No, no, listen, even on 26-11, and Vivek would correct me perhaps, there was some judicial commission was to come. It came uh, for uh, questioning some of the terrorists. So it's not de novo, it's not absolutely new process. Now, that experience told us that even while inviting a Pakistani team, did not lead us to anywhere. Yet, we have ignored that sort of a lesson and we have invited them good enough because I am for a continuous engagement between India and Pakistan and to that extent I welcome it because this is a very very firm indication of continuing engagement between the two. But beyond that in terms of real investigations I have not been able to understand I confess my ignorance not been able to understand how by just they visiting Pathan court site of the crime they would discover something no. or they are looking for something. I understand they have framed 50 questions, is it? They framed, it's very inter interesting what they say. Mr. Mr. Dulat, before I go to Mr. Kajo, what Professor Muni is saying, how, after the, after the Bombay uh, attacks also, there was a judicial commission which came. How is that different from this? I agree entirely what, with what Professor Saab has said. That this is a good confidence building uh, measure. measure. After all, you know, Pakistan could have turned around and said, this is your problem. It happened in Pathan Court. You should register the FIR. But Pakistan did register the FIR on our uh, saying so that this is where the conspiracy took place. This is where it all started. So Pakistan has registered an FIR. 
And I think uh, rightfully they must have said, at least show us the scene of crime, you know, let us come across. And I think it's been done as a confidence building measure. How much will come out, how much uh, evidence they will get, uh, fresh evidence or whatever it is. Uh, you know, again, uh, this is more, maybe more cosmetic uh, than in real terms. But but still you think it's a, it, it's Absolutely. An, it, it's, it is an interesting... It's well worth it. It's well worth it. Well worth it. Mr. Kajo. Confidence building measures which hang in the air or which are cosmetic in nature, I would humbly submit, only create frustrations down the road and muddy the relationship further. It sir, has to no, be substantial. Sir, my, my question is this. If Pakistan had... If, I, I suppose Pakistan asked the Indian government that, you know, we want to send a team to go... Yes. go and yeah, that, you, that you, is what you, happened you, right no, at the beginning. That's right. So you expect the Indian government to have said... What did you expect the Indian government no, no, to the, do? I think... The, look, uh, the Indian government has handled it properly except for the very, very... Uh, I think shoddy way in which the visit to the air base has been handled with the with Raksha Mantri saying something and then yesterday saying something else. I think there should have been a, a, a more smoother coordination between the NSA and the Ministry of Defence. So on that I have n and, nothing and, and, to say. And Ministry of Home. Ministry of Home with Rajnath Singh uh, saying, the, uh, that the saying that the operations are over. No, Rajnath Singh saying that I don't know anything about uh, the visit. So no, but even that, earlier he said the that, that is a are set, over. No, no, that is not a matter relating to Pakistan, Professor. So no, here, uh, here there should have been better coordination with regard to this visit. But this visit is is taking place. I have no problems with that. Uh, after all, my worry is that that we are today invested in a process. Where as which is acting in a manner as if success needs to be shown, needs to be manufactured. Now that's a very dangerous road to tread. Why do you think? Why do you think this 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 feeling is there? You are saying that you know there is this attempt to manufacture some kind of no, success. No, no. What is, it, is it? Is it? Is it to? Is it Look, to? What sir, is, is it? No, my question is. Is, is it aimed at the international community? Are you are you implying that it is aimed at an international community to be seen as having? Succeeded in, in, in some way in the, in the look, bilateral relations. Look, look what a, a sober assessment would be that look, we are giving Pakistan an opportunity to prove its credentials on taking action against terrorists. But if we build up a, the, a, a kind of a image that Pakistan is doing very well and that Indo Pakistan relations are suddenly uh, walking a positive road, I think that is dangerous. Yes, Pakistan is taking some, has taken some steps. They've registered the FIR. They could have done it in a week. They took six weeks to do it. So let's, my plea is that realism should never be sacrificed in indo pakistan Okay, relations. realism should not be sacrificed, Mr. Mr. Dulat. It's very interesting that pa part of this team which has come from Pakistan, there is an ISI, apparently an ISI official, a military intelligence official. An IB official. And I be official. And police a Punjab officer. police official. No, that is from Indian side. I'm talking of the Pakistan no, no, side. No, no, there, no, there, there is. There has to police. be an S someone equivalent to an SHO. So, all, he no, not an SHO. I'm that. talking of an ISI official. <laughs> the is it is it implied in that by allowing an ISI official to be part of the investigation team, and you know India allowing them to go ahead? Is it implied somewhere? That, you know, because we have always been claiming that whatever is happening, whatever attacks have taken place on India from the, you know, is there is an ISI hand in it. So is this some case of a accused also becoming an investigator? Look, I like to look at these things a little more positively. And I, I think this might be the beginning of what we have been pleading for for years of intelligence cooperation. And that can't happen without people meeting and, uh, you know, coming into contact with each other. You, you can't hide your own spooks in, in, in an ivory tower and say that we will expose the ISI all the time. This, this has to happen. And the very fact, and this, is, this has been put out by us, not by Pakistan, that uh, Pakistan, the Pakistan NSA shared real-time intelligence with us. And on the basis of that, we also claim to have you know, neutralized uh, three terrorists. Now, if that is happening, now what is the problem with an ISI major or whatever it is coming, coming here? It could lead to bigger things. It could lead to bigger cooperation, more cooperation. And this is the crucial and also, thing. So, so it, you, should, it should lead to, logically lead to cooperation on terrorism between the two. And I think that is the prob that's a big problem in Pakistan. 
and because of them it's a problem for us also. so you you think that there is a change of heart and the pakistan about change of heart but there is certainly a change of attitude i i think and i think both are beginning to realize that that we need to talk whatever else you do you know you can carry on uh, the other business as usual but not talking it doesn't make sense yes so uh, i'll i'll give you two arguments which i keep hearing from the pakistani friends and that is about uh, as uh, vivek very uh, very rightly said outcome in terms of now they are saying that some of these groups which are uh, jihadis and they are being protected by isi uh, we cannot control them for two reasons one is that if we really control them many of their other cadres will go and join is or the ttp or and and uh, they will create a problem for us and the second argument they are making is that there are rightist groups in india so to counter them who else we have except these groups so they are our assets now if that is the attitude then you know i am uh, feeling like saying uh, for if i uh, if uh, for the pakistani jihadis it is like sayya bhai kotwal ab dar kahe ka <laughs> you know you have you have the isi investing in isi plot so investigating uh, in, sorry investigating isi plot so who will be arrested that's why i said what is in terms of real outcome what is the evidence which they said they should have said that this is the evidence which is missing which we want to go and look into there or for this reason we want to look into no, that they have Secondly, given, they have they have they, they have, have very clearly i mean at least there's a report in the, uh, no, in the pakistani media no they have put 50 media. questions yes yes they have formulated 50 questions but what these questions are i am not aware of but uh, what is actually secondly when india india asks for reciprocal access and says okay we want to go to lashkar e toiba uh, or jaish e mohammed uh, headquarters and want to interrogate one of these uh, people uh, there is no commitment from pakistan that india would be no in fact we are we are not allowing them to interrogate the witnesses or anybody whom who they are supposed to meet uh, mr kadjo in fact no, there is no it has been said very clearly no, by the they, in, by the in, defense minister that they will not be allowed to interrogate i know i know they any have even, the even put, put put the green sheets so they can't see it. they no, can't see beyond no, the no, crime that, scene that but the leads which we have given they have accepted it goes to jaish e mohammed headquarters if it leads to jaish e mohammed headquarters would you let an indian team go and see there as to how this headquarter is operating not the training anything else no, these are, these are all these are, these are basic questions these are questions which which the substance of investigation these are questions which which need to be asked you know in 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 future when in, if india wants to if india wants to send a team there india and wants they, to send a team there is no question of uh, in in future mr kajo no look i think the premise has to be that if there is a conspiracy which has been hatched in pakistan perpetrated in india and pakistan is serious about lodging a case then its investigators need to come to investigate in india too whether where uh, the conspiracy has been perpetrated so far Now, so far on that so far you know th th that is what it is no no on that there cannot be any a uh, problem the problem is on how to manage this the pakistanis for example according to that media report want the base commander's telephone records his wife's telephone records uh, his bank accounts etc now are those serious uh, uh, serious demands which are required to investigate the conspiracy which took place yeah, in pakistan uh, no, no, let me let me let me let me just point out what they are asking for the pakistan investigation team this is according to a report in the pakistan media Uh, it's the pakistan investigation team has asked for recordings of the telephone calls of the sp salvinder singh yes. his wife and other individuals along with the imei numbers of their cell phones and copies of the three fir's that were registered after the incident but the authorities did not provide this no no please proceed further that's what it that. says no no, no, no it no, says no. the indian Giri, authorities no, no, have not Giri, provided this please proceed further where they want sketches of the attackers footage yes. of the closed circuit television duty registers of the border security mm -hmm. force details of the bank account service records post mortem report of the driver who died in the car accident at the time of the incident and the fir of the car snatching have not been given to the pakistan please proceed further you will see something more interesting the base indian, commanders the, the indian authorities have also refused to share the information related to the caretaker of darga panjpeer a threat alert that was issued to the air base yes. security measures taken by the base commander 
and videos related to the coverage of the incident along with wireless data of the entire operation. Now, this is what is making me very uneasy. Why? It is making me uneasy because I do not, on two counts, one, because I do not know, Mr. Mr. Dullad will be able to comment on this, whether this is needed really to proceed yeah, exactly. in a case. Because at the end of the day, it's the outcome which is important in a case in Pakistan against the conspirators. So, and, and a second, because I see the same obfuscating and sort of uh, theme which was there earlier that Indians are not cooperating, which we saw in Mumbai. Today, what is the result? In the Mumbai trial, the court has said, produce the, the Pakistani court, produce the 24 Indian witnesses, produce the case property. Now, if that is going to be the result of this this contact between the NSAs, then where will this positivity Mr. go? Mr. Dulat, you know, all these uh, things which they've asked for, see, are, are they needed? We are concentrating or harping all the time on the investigation part. Now, investigation will, will take its uh, due uh, course, whatever it is. And even if the investigation is completed, when it goes to Pakistan, they will say that, you know, uh, such and such thing is not acceptable in court and the courts, our legal system is like that. It's like your legal system. So there will be 101 excuses for that. There can be. But I'm, I'm looking at it slightly differently as the first baby steps towards cooperation between the intelligence services. You know, the, I look at the ISI major coming here as a positive step, I think. And his talking to our NIA and engaging and whatever it is, Hopefully, our uh, um, uh, IB and RNAW and NIA and CBI officers will also be able, able to go to Pakistan. They have been going in the past. So that's, uh, that's not a big thing. I agree entirely with, with Professor Saab that when it comes to um, uh, lashkar e Toiva in particular, which is actually, you know, the ISI's own outfit, we know that it was created for, for Kashmir. Uh, Pakistan is not going to cooperate easily. In any case, I've, we've discussed this many times with Pakistanis, and they say, you know, lashkar e taiba is last on our uh, priorities. We have many more terrorists to, to fight, and lashkar e taiba doesn't cause us any problems. So it, it, it's But there. it causes problem to us, to India. Pakistan. To, no, no, it doesn't cause problem to it Pakistan. Does. It causes cause problem to India. In this particular case, again, the positive thing is that uh, Afiz Mohammed uh, Said uh, yeah, has Sorry. been locked up. No, no. Today, yesterday he was in Peshawar. He gave a fiery yeah. speech against yes. India again. Please, yes. yesterday. But how did they say that he was in? Peshawar? I do not know. Yes. Yesterday, please see the papers no, no, that today. Was, was that for Masood Azhar? Oh, no, sorry, I, I beg your pardon. Yes, I'm. I'm, yes. I'm no, no, no. no that, that, this is where I want yes. to raise a question. Yeah, Masood Azhar. Well, I, uh, I meant Masood Azhar. My, my apologies. Yes. So, Ma Masood Azhar. No, I want to raise a question here. Yes. yes you yes. said about uh, Lashkar e Toiba. Yes. I'm talking about Jaysh e Mohammed. Jaysh e Mohammed. Because yeah. on Jaysh e Mohammed, the, the army has a little different view. Because they have confronted Jaysh e Mohammed, even uh, getting involved into attack on some of their um, uh, uh, army chiefs earlier. That's so, right. That's so, right. to what uh, extent, and there again, even Masood Azhar has not really been arrested. I don't know what kind of protective you're, custody. You're right. No, but there. Have he is that some kind of protective custody. <laughs> he may not be arrested, but he is in protective custody. And I don't think uh, there is much love lost. Sir, one, but one question which I, you know, all of you can answer. This allowing the joint investigation team to go to Patan Court to investigate. Is it an admission that, that India has accepted that this attack was not committed by state actors? Of course not. How is it an admission? The otherwise, otherwise, how, how, no, otherwise no, no. Why, do you, why do you allow I a team to go and investigate are, No, no, no. Look, look at it like this. If an attack has been carried out here and Pakistan is irrespective of who is carried out and, pa and you are in touch with the Pakistanis and you've told them that please take legal action against the the, uh, the conspirators because the perpetrators have been killed against the conspirators, then whether those conspirators are state agents or non-state agents, the team has to come to investigate. Now, the question before us is, if the team comes to the conclusion that Pakistan's state actors were involved in this, state agencies were involved, then what would Pakistan? No, no. That, that, would that would that kind of a conclusion be be arrived at all or at all? 
I, I doubt, I doubt very much. Yes. Because, you know... They, no, but you know, my primary question. The, allowing this JIT, is it some kind of an admission by the Indian government? No, that, I don't you know, think so. The I, state I think actors were not involved I, in it. I think the not. ambassador is right. I don't think it is any admission. But, you know, the dividing line between what the Pakistanis call state actors and non-state actors is very thin. So, uh, now, if it had not been for, uh, in, in, in the Mumbai case, if it had not been for David Hadley's uh, uh, admission uh, or uh, deposition in the United States, uh, they could have said that uh, here also non-state actors were involved. Right, right. No, no, Prasamune. but in, in, in principle, I think what Mr. Nikam is saying has a point. That in principle, you admit that this same agency which you doubt was involved in conspiracy may be allowed to investigate. No, no, no. Right. No, I, the I, very fact. No, I don't. In principle. Uh, in no, principle. No, no, no. Look, if a policeman has committed a murder, let's take a situation. A policeman has committed a murder. Who investigates? The police. Police investigate. Yeah. So you, you don't know, have someone else investigating? No, IS, ISI no. is not an no, no. police investigating agency. No, no, but <laughs> the ISI is <laughs> part of the JIT. <laughs> So it's coming per se. So you have no problem with the ISI coming I here. I have no problem. And you expect and you expect no. this joint investigation team to come to a conclusion that some state actors were involved. Look, I what I'm skeptical about right from the beginning in, on your program is about the outcome. So how my how can I reach the conclusion which you have mentioned? If, if you want to know the conclusion, it will never be that state actors are involved. Yes, so, so, that is for so, sure. So therefore, <laughs> yeah. No, no, then therefore but, it is nothing <coughs> more than a confidence building measure. So it's just a, it's, it's, it's nothing not a more than an investigation. And okay, I am very sir. suspicious of confidence building measures. Okay, I well, think confidence all, building uh, measures are the of that They are meaningless. <laughs> so okay, this, is, ground, this is essentially a, uh, Mr. Dulat, would you say that this is essentially a diplomatic move? Aimed, no, a, no, aimed at convincing think, the international no, community it's, it's also? More, it's more than a diplomatic move because uh, the ambassador has a problem with diplomatic moves. <laughs> so I would say that you know, this, is, this is a move on, of intelligence officers between the two NACs. Okay. And that well, is how I think it's come Based about. on our experience, I wish them luck. Okay, I think on that note, we'll, uh, we'll, we will wish them luck. We'll hope that, you know, as Mr. Dulat says, this is, some, this is a confident <laughs> building measure. What will be the outcome is something which we'll have to wait and watch. <laughs> So we will give them the benefit of doubt as of now. Thanks to all my guests. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue in the big picture same time tomorrow.